John Concac, who was nicknamed John Contract. Right. Because he got he got paid more than he should have gotten paid. Yes. Well, no, he was he was he was good. He was serviceable. Yeah, he was good. He was serviceable. I was trying to be the next two tall Jones. You wanted to play for the yeah. Cowboys? Yes. And that's why I'm Are a you? Cowboys fan. Oh, you're still a Cowboys yes, fan? Yes, always. Cra the Cowboys ever make you cry? All the time. <laughs> <laughs> not, Every year. Not, yeah. I was going to say, not Every good year. tears. Not good tears. Have you gone to a Cowboys game? I recently? need to ask you a question. Okay. Which one is McLovin? <laughs> <laughs> I thought he was McLovin. No, that's Pauly. <laughs> Seriously? You watch this show. I do, but I always do. Well, look. Well, look, they both wear glasses. You know white guys look alike. No, but McLovin... <laughs> Nick Levin is like nerdy. No, I thought, looking. I'm, I'm sorry. No, that's Paulie. So, does that, that mean I'm not your favorite Dan Ed anymore? Because no, he is. Oh, I like this guy. Paulie is. Oh, okay. So you're McLovin? Yeah, I'm McLovin. No, I thought it was him. No. I swear I did. I've been bragging to everyone that Shaq loves me for years. Well, I was wrong. I, I, I do. I still do. No, you, so this is. No, you're, that's you're, McLovin, and you know that's, that's Paulie, McLovin. And that's, and, and that's Fritzy. I know Fritzy. Yeah. And that's Seton. Seton? Shaq, you watched the Seton, damn show. your parents named you Seton? <laughs> yeah, they did. Okay. Now, he, 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 his dad <laughs> wanted him to go to Seton Hall. Okay. And he couldn't get in. But he named him Seton after Seton Hall. You couldn't get into Seton Hall? Even with the name. <laughs> Seton Hall, yeah. That's, that's awesome. West Virginia took me, though, so that's all right. If you didn't go to So L hold on. That's not McLovin. I think you're pulling no, my hand. No, man, that's McLovin no, right there. Stop it. Stop that's Paulie. That's Paulie. Paulie, take off your glasses. There you go. You know, Stanley Roberts used to be my favorite center at LSU, but no more, big oh, man. It's you. Thank you. Appreciate wow. that. Appreciate that. If you didn't go to LSU, where were you going? I, I visited North Carolina, North Carolina State, Illinois, and UNLV. Was it close? North Carolina State was close. I, I, really, I really respected Jim Valvano. And as you know, because you're a sports fan, they had the original Shaq, Charles Shackelford. Yeah. And uh, that's who I got my, my name and my identity from. <clears throat> so I was actually w w wanting to play behind him. But I, I said, you know what? I'm going to be my own Shaq, and I'm going to just take, take it down to Baton Rouge. Wait, so you got your nickname from yes. Charles Shackelford? Yep. The original Shaq? Original Shaq. I took his knee pads. I took, I, I took everything. <laughs> You're a little, you had a better career, a little better career than Charles Shackelford. Something like that. Yeah, yeah. Where do you think you rank? Where, do, where should you rank with you big know, men? I never. With big men. I never <clears throat> sat around ranking myself. Okay, how about I take you out of it? <clears throat> where, where do you rank big men? I got to go Bill Russell, number one. Okay. Kareem, two. Probably Wilt, three. Uh, King, four. And probably me, five. So I would say. Top five, but my thing coming up is that, you know, they mentioned all these great names before me. So I always said to myself, if I can get my name mentioned with those guys, then I think I've, I've done something in this league. But, but did your dad? I, I talked to Barry Sanders about this all this all the time. His dad would never acknowledge how great he was because yes, he'd always say, "You're no Jim Brown." Your dad, being as tough as Sarge was, did he, he do that as well to you? He used to always take my trophies and put them in, in a box. Never displayed him. No, never displayed him. So finally, when I, when I got that's older, that's a lot of boxes. Yeah, a lot of boxes. So, <laughs> so, so finally, when I got older, I asked him. I said, uh, "Why'd you do that?" And he said, "Because I never wanted you to be satisfied." So after he passed away seven years ago, I retrieved all the tro trophies and I made a trophy, a trophy room, and dedicated uh, to him in his honor. And I'm doing the same thing to my children. Like I let them, you know, show their trophies of what they win, and I say, "Thank you very much," because I never want them to be satisfied either. How's your son doing? He's doing fine. He's just doing good. He, uh, he so it was open heart surgery. Yeah, it was open heart surgery, and he was he was very scared. And you know, I always always said to myself, it's it's stories that get me to calm down, get me to the next level. So right before the surgery, he was scared, and you know, he had a little tear in his eye. I said, "You scared?" He said, "Yeah." I said, "You should be," but when you go in that room, you're gonna meet a a young lady named Anesthesia. <laughs> <laughs> And you won't remember anything. He said, what's her name? I said, her name is Anesthesia. And she's going to kiss you, and then you're going to wake up, and everything's going to be fine. He said, what? I said, just go ahead. You're good. So, so when he woke up, and I said, do you remember anything? He said, no. I was like, told you, Anesthesia. How many surgeries have you had? Ten. And I kind of, you know, and I kind of made it, you know, comfortable for him, too. I said, look, I never had heart surgery, but this was going to happen. Anesthesia. 
You're going to wake up, it's going to be done, and you won't remember anything. You look like you could still play. I wish I could. The money that they're giving these bums, I wish I could play. <laughs> could, you, could you give me five minutes a game? Yeah, but, yeah, but the people wouldn't want to see me play five minutes. That's why when I... Like that, Golden State, you could play five minutes. Yeah, but I, I, yeah, but the people wouldn't want to see me play. That, so the reason why when, when, I, when I left Boston, like I had a two-year deal, so I got hurt, career and injury. I could have rehabbed and came back for the Shaq Farewell Tour, but I felt like I was robbing the people. Like, because, you know, we charge people a lot of m uh, money for tickets. Yeah. And, you know, they're used to seeing the 28 15 check. Like, me scoring six, eight points, I don't, I didn't, I didn't want to, you know, charge the people for that. Uh, different teammates have told me that you love to run around naked. I have no idea what you're talking and about. And, 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 and Stop you, it. That's and, rumors, and, man. And, <clears throat> and, Is this a sports show or a gossip it, show, sir? It, it's, I'm not even talking to We you. gossip about McLovin, sports. McLovin, what's up, brother? How you doing? <laughs> no, that's Paul. Oh, that's McLovin, okay. But you would jump stop out it, and grab no, guys, and you would that. be naked. Don't, don't stop it, Dan. There's old people in the audience, Dan. <laughs> <laughs> Including me. Yes. Yeah. No. But, but you're, okay, the best joke you ever played on somebody. Because Barkley was pretty good at playing jokes on people. Best joke I ever played. Did you ever? You pranked people. Yeah, I got a lot of pranks, but I, they're not... None of my jokes were PG-13. Oh, really? Yeah, because you were running around naked, grabbing a hole. I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> you know this guy? Yeah. What is this? Shaquille O'Neal joining us here in the Man Cave. I saw where you, you brought up something, and I'm glad you did, when people talk about LeBron and Michael. And then you're saying, wait, why isn't Kobe involved in this yeah, conversation? I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of baffled at Kobe. Why? why I don't know. I'm, but I mean, he's like, in, in between them playing-wise, it feels like. He's I mean, a lot I'm, more like Mike. I'm a fan, and I like hearing these stories. You know, I like hearing questions that will never be answered, like who's more dominant, Shaq or Will, we'll never know. So when I just sit back, I just like, like to, you know, listen. But it baffles me that nobody ever brings his name up. Would you rather have Michael as a teammate or LeBron? Uh, neither. I would, I, would, I, would, I would rather beat him. Well, no, you have to take one. So well, it's an open draft. You got first pick, you got Mike, or you got LeBron? I won't have to go with Mike. Okay. Did Mike tr talk trash to you? Uh, yes, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's he say to you? It wasn't really trash. It's just like <clears throat> he's the type of player that he would say, all right, I'm gonna go to this spot right here, <laughs> and I'm gonna and I'm gonna shoot the jumper, and like he would do it. Bird used to do that too. I heard. I never had the opportunity. Yeah, to I was gonna say. Bird, but yeah, I heard. Bird would say, the famous one was Xavier McDaniel. Right. So there's a timeout, and Bird goes, "I'm gonna get the ball right here, X, and I'm gonna take the shot right in your face. And we're gonna win the game." Right. Threw the ball into Bird. Took the shot and won the game. Is goes, that your Larry Bird impression? Do it again. Goes, yeah. But let me hear it again. How is it? No, it's pretty good. Let me, let me hear it again. So, so X, I'm going to get the ball right here, and I'm going to get the ball, and I'm going to turn right in your face, yeah, that, and I'm going to hit a jump. Good. That's good. Yeah. That's good. But I've been working on, you know, my impersonation <clears throat> with you. Let me hear it. Dad Patrick, shut the hell up. <laughs> pretty good. Pretty good. It's not bad. It's yeah, not bad. All right, give me your impression of somebody. You got you I, do any? Don't, you don't, don't, don't do any impression? impression? No, I tried to call Stephen A. with my Tex Johnson voice, but that didn't work. <laughs> wait, 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 what was that? You didn't hear that? No. So he was going off on the Cowboys one day, and I called him. I said, hey, son, this is Tex Johnson. You better stop talking about the Cowboys. And he's like, hold on, this is Shaq. I was like, this ain't Shaq. Uh oh, this ain't Shaq. It's not me, it's not me. That's not a bad accent. But you're from Texas. No, I'm from New Jersey. I'm well, you spent all the time in yeah, Texas. I'm, I'm, I'm all over. If you were Anthony Davis, where do you want to go? I'm taking that 250. I'm staying, I'm staying in New Orleans. Do you worry about the future of some of these smaller franchises? Like New uh, Orleans, can New Orleans exist? Can they continue if nobody wants to play? I think if they, they make this trade, they got to get at least three pieces that People, people would want to come and see. But I don't know if, if you don't get Kuzma, like you got to get Kyle Kuzma. Yep, you got to get Kuzma. Does anybody want Lonzo Ball? I don't know. Like you can't, you can't. I can't have a point guard who shoots forty-one percent from the line. What line? The free throw line. Damn, he's worse than me. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, seriously? We found somebody worse than you. He shoots forty-one percent. Yes. Damn. Yeah. I didn't know that. 
Learn something new every day. Maybe you could help him. No, I can't. <laughs> I'm done. Do you miss? What do you miss about the game? Like I, I don't. I don't. You miss, don't miss anything? No, I just you know my. I have my time. I just try to give the people enjoyment. I try to win as many championships as possible. I don't. I don't really miss it. Nope. I just. I just wish that uh, you know a, a, a few more of the guys would say, you know what, I want to beat this guy rather than join. Play up with him. that guy. Yeah, because I never would have said, okay, you know what. We keep losing to Scotty and, and the Bulls. I'm gonna go play with the Bulls. You know, I had had a lot of times where I tore my house up because we lost and we just kept losing and just. Uh, you know, Michael Jordan said something to me after the 1996 East Conference Finals. He said, "Before you succeed, you must first learn to fail." So the reason I, I lost a lot of times it just helped me get over. It. And then once I finally got over the hump, you know, I was able to you know win three in a row. But you know that. That's sports, you know. But How what many happened? times have we seen like like rivals go go at it? Like 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 me when I was coming up, it was always Boston and LA. I was a Laker fan, and Boston used to beat us. I had a guy, uh, his name was Mitch Riles. He was Larry Bird, and I was Magic Johnson. So me and him, we used to play a seven game series every day. So every time Boston would win, he raggled me the whole <laughs> year, and every time Lakers would win, so. That's what you know. Sports is all about. But would you tear up your house? Yeah. When you lo- what, yeah. Like, what do you mean, tear up your house? I rip out the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> I bust a few windows, break some dishes. So that I mean that adds. What, that's decent tab there. You gotta. Yeah, it is. But it was just you know. So you then, you just pull the toilet at. Yeah, especially like if I had a terrible night at the free throw line, I'm like, I, I would just, I would just like you know go crazy. Be very hard on myself. I know, but then I would have people say, you know, Shaq in practice, he'll make 20 in a row. I, I will make 20 in a row. I don't, I, I don't know what it was in the game. So that's... That's that's Polly. <laughs> that's McLovin. Let me ask my guy, Rob, which one is McLovin? <laughs> which one is McLovin, Rob? Uh, you can catch the big pot... Yeah. You can catch the big podcast with Shaq. New episodes every Monday on podcastone.com. Apple Podcast. Mm-hmm. You're also investing in the Alliance of American Football. Yes, football doesn't stop after this weekend. It uh, begins again in February. Eight teams, 400 players, eight games. It's uh, on T- yeah, TNT. Yep, it's on TNT. Bleacher Report. Bleacher Report. Steelers fans, what's up, baby? How you doing? Uh, and what's the what's the? There's footage of you snoring. Yes. Online. I have uh, I have sleep apnea. I snore very bad, and I know. Few people in here snore. Like, like really loud. Like, how do you snore? <laughs> okay. You snore too. No, I don't. Yeah, you do. No, I do not. I forgot we did two movies together, and I had to wake you up in the trailer. <laughs> you snore. Cut it out. You snore. So anyway, I'm saying, like, anybody in here, you snore. I'll definitely go see a physician. Uh, I just did a partnership with a company, Zipa. It'll help you stop your snoring. But how do you get somebody to sleep with you if you snore like that? I have no idea what you're talking about. <laughs> McLovin, you want to sleep with me? <laughs> He's McLovin. Oh, I do. <laughs> uh, hey, thank you for all the all right, times that you. you've uh, you've joined us. We appreciate Anytime. it, and you've been a great friend of the show. Right, thank you, buddy. You